for like decades, it's been um, like predominantly like white men on there. 17 year old Charlie Schooner is talking about the history of the U.S. Supreme Court and those who have served on it. He's a senior here at High Tech High International in Liberty Station. His civics class tuned in today to watch Supreme Court nominee Katanji Brown Jackson make history. It is what our country is founded on. The past couple of days, Judge Jackson spent hours answering questions from senators about her legal experience and even personal beliefs. She's very good at like dealing with the grilling that like she's been getting on a lot of those hearings. Um, she's been like very, uh, I guess, I guess like respectful and professional is a good way to put it. So knowing that she's worked with a group of marginalized people, is a marginalized person herself, really gives me the confidence that she will be making good decisions for those people. Malia Oto is also 17 and will be old enough to vote in the next election. She says it's about time. We're tired of like, you know, sitting there and kind of like listening to everyone fight. I'm kind of like, gosh, shut up. <laughs> like, it's important, but at the same time, it's so hectic and chaotic. This high tech high campus is a public charter high school known for its open concept classrooms and open minded students who are opinionated too, especially when it comes to social justice and defending marginalized communities. Because she's a woman of color um, and they're all, they feel probably threatened by her just being there. A lot of them have very strong opinions um, or political affiliations and so that can be really um, challenging to kind of balance uh, and make room for everybody to share the air. I am excited about voting because it, it gives me a voice, you know, um, and I would like to be able to have an influence on uh, this country because, you know, I'm a citizen of it. As confirmation hearings are wrapping up in Washington, there is also a review and wrap up by these students who are the next generation of leaders. I'm really excited to see what my generation does. I hope that we can be a group of people to be proud of. Um, and make some meaningful changes for people. That's a judgment call anyone can agree with. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.